I opened my surgery center in 1980 and the purpose was to get the patient out of the hospital and that way I could lower the bill for doing cataract surgery. The problem was that the community wasn't clear that I was doing it for that purpose. The question was, well, you're getting the patients out of the hospital so that nobody can see what you're up to. It wasn't true, of course, but how can you show that's not true? Well, the way, the way we showed is that I joined a group called AAAHC, which is Accreditation for Ambulatory Healthcare. And that, uh, that group has inspectors that go around and visit ASCs and apply a set of standards to the facility or to that ASC. So people would come to my office and they would watch me operate, they would read the charts, they would make sure my sterilizers were proper, that everything was done properly according to standards that were national in scope. So that it was clear that if you could meet the standards for AAAHC that you were an accreditable organization. That is, you met the standards and then you were, you were good. So I got the AAAHC accreditation very early in, the, in my career. Then AAAHC asked if I would be an inspector. So for the next 25 years, I did inspections of other people's ASCs and offices. So I would travel around the country, including Hawaii, I might add, and I would inspect those facilities. What I observed was that a lot of physicians and a lot of ophthalmologists would take, uh, would take some advantage of their position as being physicians and telling the patients what they needed. And in my opinion, just my opinion, I thought people were uh, operating too easily. I thought there was too much cataract surgery going on. So I would require the chart that I was reading to support the indications for cataract surgery. If it didn't support it, then I would mark them down. After I did that for a while, it occurred to me that the reason that surgeons like to operate is not only do they help patients, of course, but the cases, the number of cases they do is tied directly to the income. And that's called fee-for-service medicine. So you, you get paid for what you do. That makes sense in many ways, but it does increase utilization or it makes the surgeon subject to a conflict of interest because by telling the patient they need an operation and then doing the operation, uh, you, you can make more money. It occurred to me that a better way to do uh, to pay for medical care is called capitation. What that means is that uh, I have a contract with an insurance company to take care of a certain number of patients, let's say 10,000 patients. My contract is to do whatever those patients need to take care of their eyes and their vision. I get paid by the insurance company a fixed amount for a month in which I take care of those patients. And you can see that it makes no sense for me to do an operation unless the patient needs it. I don't have to sell anything to the patient. I just do what I think is necessary to help the patient's vision, to answer their questions. I do the testing that is appropriate, surgery that's appropriate, but, um, but what I do for the patient does not increase my income. And then you say, well, let's see, wait a minute. The less you do, the more money you make. How do I know that you're not doing nothing just to increase your income? And the answer is, well, uh, in a way you have to trust my integrity, but the reason is that I want to make patients happy. Because if they're not happy, then they won't come back, or they'll tell their friends, or they'll tell their family doctor who referred the patient. So I, the patient won't come back and then the family doctor will tell the insurance company and I cannot keep the contract. So that's why uh, the fee for, that's why the capitation model does work because I don't have to do any surgery to make money and yet I want to do surgery because I want to help the patient. So that's how I, that's how capitation works and that's how I came to my my view of what is the best way to pay for medical care. It's, uh, it's a view that 
I did not read anywhere. I came to that view because of my own experience. And of course, other physicians would argue that that conclusion is not correct, but I cannot help drawing the conclusion that I did based on my own experience.